have a class. <laughs> <laughs> I Ha <laughs> ha 
boys are at the back uh, in my so, car so they're behind be. us yes my dear thank you so much chief mm -hmm. thank you for being my special guest at the party yes it, so it, it, it's just a token you know who you are to me you understand and it was a wonderful party you women are making us proud and i met so many people i have not met since uh, i came back from china you know and our party you women are the ones that will have this party to go when you become a senator then they will know what we're talking about eh? Chief, but, but just, you know tomorrow we're going to meet again i know yeah. but i just want you to know that i appreciate your it's coming all, right. all the same it's all right okay. it's all right my dear uh, we will meet tomorrow okay uh, driver uh, you can stop at that junction so that uh, she will join her entourage. You know, her, her boys. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Sweetheart. Thank you, Chief. Mm. Thank you so much. Mm. Thank you, oh, Chief. I'm so addicted to you. I don't know what I can do without you. <laughs> I went to a party. Now what else did you expect? Or did you expect me to have taken you along? Hmm. What, what is wrong in that? <laughs> <laughs> why, why are you laughing? You, of course. You expect me to have taken you along? Very funny. And what is that thing in your hand? Are you still rendering stupid prayers in this house after I warned you not to? Yes. I am a Christian, a Catholic. And nobody can stop me from praying to my God. How dare you? How dare you give it to me? If I ever see you, let me warn you, if I ever see you rendering any stupid prayers in this house again, 
I will deal with it. Great. Better pray to God for help. Just look at the time you are coming home. Married woman. Look at me. Just shut look up your dirty mouth. Me. Shut up! Shut your dirty mouth and move your carcass out of here before I move you. I am still your husband. It, you, in fact, you, you are still my wife. No matter how that makes you feel. Shut up! Come on, get out! Get out, idiot! Look at this! Look at this buffoon, this old fool! This idiot calling me your wife? Bloody fool! What? 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 What's, what's, what's all this rubbish? What's all this nonsense? In fact, let me get. What? What's all that rubbish? This time look like an evening to you. Oh, sorry, I forgot. It's night. Good night. Laura, come back here. Okay. I say, come back here. Sir, what is it? Where are you coming from? I am coming from a party. Which party? A birthday party. Birthday party of who? Winnie, of course. So you went to Winnie's birthday party. And you are coming back at this ungodly time of the night. Why didn't you sleep there? Cyril, I don't have that time. I'm going to bed. What? What did you just do? Ignoring to our noble clique. By this, you have shown that you you, you 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 don't belong to our group. You belittled us beyond imagination. Gosh! Is this 
this all this to you and you did nothing. I tried. Tried one of my boots. No, no, listen to me. Huh? Leave this serious issue for once. Let me handle it. I even told him I'll report him to you. When he was beating me, he now said, he now said that you should go to hell, that you cannot do anything. Oh! I will go to hell! Yes! I will go to hell for Cyril. Just wait and see. Yes, hello. Good day. Is that the Commissioner of Police, please? Oh. <laughs> yes. This is Chief Doctor Mrs. Betty Douglas. <laughs> well, I'm fine. I'm fine, thank you, sir. I'm fine. And you? Well, everything is okay here. Yes, sir. Well, it's just this friend of mine that the lunatic of a husband bats us from time to time and yeah i keep taking her to the hospital and paying the bills so it doesn't make him feel any remorse yes anything that will make him feel it i want him to feel it so well yes sir thank you very much sir oh <laughs> Anything, anything, anything. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. Thanks a lot, eh? Yeah, bye. Thank you. Yes. This is the right pills for serious madness. I am going to deal with your husband. I'm so sorry. Just go ahead. I will deal with him seriously. He will feel it for touching you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, my duty. Thank you. It's okay. Thank, you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Dr. Kelvin from the force headquarters and this is my colleague. So how can I help you? Are you Dr. Cyril Stevie? Yes, of course I am. Can you please come with us down to the station? What? I cannot understand this. Please, when you get to the station, we'll explain to you better. Can we please go now? And uh, which uh, station is this? Force headquarters at, uh, at Johnson Estate. Uh, look, officer, I know the station. You can go back. I will join you later. I'm going nowhere. You have to come along with us now. Is this an invitation or an arrest? I have a warrant here for your immediate arrest. I have misunderstanding with my wife. And I have to do what I have to do to correct her. And this is purely family affair. You are not invited. When you get to the station, you will explain better. But now, let's go. Officer, this is my home. And this is my wife. We have to settle it in my home. I am not going anywhere. Do you want to do it quietly or you want, you want us to do it hardly on you? So this is what it has come up. Because you have society women, gangs to protect you. No problem. Can we leave here now, sir? Sergeant. Mr. Man, it's you okay. are it's okay. Who do you think you are, sir? Yes. 
Well, Laura, I must confess I was very ashamed of you. I was so disgraced with the news. <laughs> I mean, this is one little thing one could use to nail your progress in the club, and you know it. Well, Lady Betty, yeah, kudos. Oh, thank you very much. Well, I've told her. It's either she guards her loins or she saves us this constant embarrassment. Exactly. Exactly, because we can't take this anymore. You have to handle it, Laura. Handle it. You're proving too much of a weakling than a noble queen you should be. Handle it. Handle it. I'll handle it. I'll surely handle it. So, where is the swine now? Deep in the dark, of course. Beautiful. Where else could it be? Oh, trust this lady. Come on, baby. Oh, my empress. <laughs> my empress. <laughs> anyway, I have one good news. Good news? Yes. That's what I want to hear. I spoke with Senator Adams over having one of us as the resident electoral commissioner in one of the states, and he gave me his word. Come on. Say that again. Oh. <laughs> that is wonderful. Come on, really. I want to hear more about that. <laughs> that means mega bulk and a connection for all of us ladies. Oh, really? Good. If this works out, Gosh, this is going to be uh, apex for the Prince Club. At least we're going to hit the elections big time. Abu. Mm. Alice, I have the dream of her uh, coming out for House of Red come next election. Oh, come off it. You haven't been able to handle the pop in your home. How much more? Coming out for House of Fred. Listen, let me tell you. That is a different ball game, okay? No, Laura. It is the same ball game. It's not. When it comes to politics, the best of the worst is let loose. Yeah. You sound confident. Very, very confident. All I need is little time to handle issues with cereal. Then I'll come out again. You better do that very fast. Well, ladies, thanks for coming. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, it's always a sweet thing to be with a big lady. <laughs> <laughs> I cherish your company as well. Suit? 
What can you explain? Are you going to explain that you were not actually sleeping together? Or that, oh, this room is so hot, so I had to take off my clothes so that I can take in some fresh air. Huh? Isn't that a logical explanation, Gladys? But the question is, what is this brat doing in my guest suit? Well, obviously this is your suit. But you don't have the right to insult me with impunity. Will Especially you when you know who my father is. Shut your dirty mouth. Just shut it, you braggart. Don't take advantage of my friend's stupidity. She ain't stupid. She's just been in love. And what is the crime in it? Really? Well, the crime in it is that she's falling in love with a kid who can't even express himself without hiding behind his father's shadow. Excuse me, madam. I am not hiding under my father's shadows. I am my own man. And if you must know, I am a well-trained medical doctor here in Nigeria and abroad. And if you must know, I am about to open a unique state-of-the-art medical center here in Nigeria. No, no, shut no. up! Shut up! Shut up! If you're that, if you're that as you say that you are, why couldn't you have Booked yourself into a five-star hotel for your love nest instead of coming here to hibernate in my guest suit. And you still have the guts. You still have the guts to run your stinking mouth at me. Grace, uh, Grace, please. I'm I'm really very sorry. Oh, shut your dirty mouth. Shut it! You brought all this insult upon me. Imagine you made it possible for this this bragger, this kid to insult me. Please. And Mr. Medical Doctor, I want you to clear your ass out of my guest suit. And for your information, the lady in question is a married woman. And I'd love to see how you flex your dry biceps when her husband eventually catches up with you. You must know. When we get to the bridge, I will cross it. Indeed. Bring her in. Yes, ma'am.
Leave us. How convenient it was for you to forget our oath. I'm very sorry, Lady G. It's just that that boy won't stop pestering me ever since. Ever since when? The cocktail party at the government house. Remember, he was there with his father. You know how much it cost me to manipulate your husband to leave us alone? What I saw there was, was more like you were too willing to give. Actually, the truth is, I'm beginning to miss how it feels to be touched by a real man. From, from your so-called husband? Huh? Remember you turned him into a vegetable? Shut up! What I did, I did for your own good. Now you listen to me. If I ever see you with that boy, or any other boy for that matter, he's a dead mate. Do you understand me? You belong to me. Me and none other. Do you get that? Yes, Lady Jane. The way you shake them down. Sometimes I'm tempted to change your name from Lady Grace to Iron Lady. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> don't you trust me there? Oh, oh, of course I trust. I'm made of steel and can bend anything. I trust you. You're <laughs> capable of anything, anyway. <laughs> Come on, the last toast oh, to yes. the progress of the Senate. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Hmm. This is just, just the right shit. Mm -hmm. Because this time around, I don't want to hear any stories. Okay. It's either Grace Benson mm -hmm. and the Senate this time around, or no Senate at all. Because I, mm -hmm. Grace Benson, mm -hmm. I am ready to destabilize. Mm -hmm. People. Oh, my lady G. That's what I'm talking about. So, you know, opportunity they say comes but once. Of course. 
I swear, baby. This time around that this opportunity has come my way, mm. this one time, mm -hmm. I'm not ready to let it slip away. Oh no, you can't. I mean, you dare not. So baby girl, tell me, what are your plans now? I'm listening, tell me. Election is so close. You don't expect me to sit still with my plans. I have my strategies and they're all up here. Oh my lady G. Goodness, tell me more, tell me more. So, because it's Grace Benson and the Senate, yeah. or no Grace Benson, no Senate, what I plan to do is this. Yeah. I plan to plant our own person okay. as the national resident electoral figure. Okay. Then with her, will now get our own person to come into our states as our own resident electoral commissioner. Mm. And my dear, once that deed must have been done, and, uh, uh, we are there. <laughs> <laughs> Good plan. But I don't still see it as um, perfect. Why? What do you mean? Talking about uh, planting a strong figure, you know that definitely won't work because Lady Betty will want to project her soulmate, Laura. And you can imagine cold Laura and the electorate runs. Sweetie, I am a bit scared. You know Betty and her moves, you know? We'll see to that. Okay. If it's... We'll see about that. a nominee, a representative who is going to work with the Electoral Commission and um, I don't know what you guys think but I want us to do the nomination here and now so who is going to represent us? Noble ladies! The, the big lady! lady. Well, um, I don't think we have much to consider about picking Lady Laura here for the job. It's true she's new in the Queen's Club, but I'm sure we all know she can effectively contain the job. Noble ladies, the big lady. I don't think so. Lady Laura here cannot contain the task in discuss. Why? Because Lady Laura here lacks the vigor and versatility for the job. Well, I don't think so. Oh, but I've just told you that. Grace? Yep. Are you talking to me or something? <laughs> Lady Betty. That question of yours seems so rhetoric, but still I will not drop my views. Lady Laura here cannot go for us, simple. What is the meaning of this? An insult? No, a simple expression of an objective opinion. Hold on ladies, please, it's okay. What is this? An expression of views. 
I wouldn't want to repeat myself here. Lady Grace, please sit down. Lady Betty, sit please. No, 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 pick lady. Lady Grace is insulting me. No, Betty, I am not insulting you. I have the right to express my views and my opinions right here, the same way you do. Yes, um, I think Lady Grace is right, big lady. Oh, will you shut up, shut up there? Are you in any way referring to me? Who else am I talking to? Come on, shut up, big mouth there. Well, I think you should be the one to shut up. What is wrong with you? Carol, you threw questions at me. And why would I throw questions at you? Are you a demigod? Oh, yeah, girl. How dare you? How dare you talk to Lady Betty that way? Are you mad? <laughs> Sit down, everybody. Lady, Lady Betty, I least expected this from you. No, no, big lady. You were sitting there, and Grace was insulting. I was not insulting you, Betty. Stop using that word. You dare to play Who are you? What the hell do you think you are? You are a No, I will not take it. I can never, never take it. No, I will not take it from Grace. Not from that slot that calls herself Carol. No, never. I will not take it from the two of them. I cannot. <sighs> My calm God. down, calm down, Betty. Calm your nerves. These two are too small to upset you. That's just it. They are damn small. They are damn small to upset you, okay? Yes! They are too junior to my status. But look at them, insulting and raining abuses on me. Imagine, imagine that kind of embarrassment. Imagine that kind of insult. Oh, Grace. Oh, my goodness. Imagine Grace eh? objecting to my, to, to, to my suggestions. Grace of all people. No! I will not take it. No. See, just calm down. We haven't still lost. Oh, I feel lost, Edna. I feel lost! Oh, God. Grace that I opened door for. Grace that insulting and running abuses on me. Grace that I showed the way to the top. Eh? I consecrated her. I even, I even initiated her. I, I, I initiated that stupid saucy network into the Ashton of Queen's Club. And she dares attack my views. No, Grace, not me. Damn! God bless me. Betty. No. Betty, don't forget whom you are. You are the tigress of Queen's Club. It's high time you made Grace feel your fangs. Okay? Yes! Yes. I am going to use those fangs to tear Grace into pieces. Simple. I am going to tear her into pieces. I will teach her a lesson she will never forget in her life. Bacon, please, it hasn't come to this. No, 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 no! Don't tell me bullshit! What the hell are you talking about? Me! Where are you? Where are you standing? You want to sell out Burap because you want to belong to their own side or what? No, you're getting this all right. I'm in the, no. Calm down. Me! Leave Grace, I will kill Grace. I'll show her the way to the top. I'll show her the way to the bottom. I mean... She feels above everybody and then has got to stop. No, Carol. It has stopped. You see, Betty? She's gonna feel the real me in autumn rascality. <laughs> Lady G. <laughs> oh, girls. Just take a look at me. Come on, girls. Mm -hmm. Do I look like I could be taken for a ride? No Not way. <laughs> <laughs> ah! oh. ah! 
Let's forget about Betty Douglas. You know why? Because her reign in the Queen's Club has failed. Betty Douglas has been overthrown, and I, Grace Benson, have taken over. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. I am now a moving train, and nobody dares to halt a moving train. If Betty Douglas dares, if she dares to stand in my way, she will be crushed. And that, girls, is a promise. I feel it's not a joke at all. <laughs> oh, Lady That's G. Good. <laughs> That's good, though. Well, I think everybody's beginning to realize her incessant imposition of abuse on us. I'm happy you all now know. Oh, well. As for me, Betty Douglas can bloody well go to hell for all I care. Same here. We can't be stuck on her forever simply because she let us in. Of course. Away. I mean, why should I, Chris Benson, why should I care because she let me in? Why should I care? Who is Betty Douglas after all? What is going on here, Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. Jacob! Jacob, what are you doing here? This is my house, and you are still my wife. Who, who is your wife? Who is your wife? Look at this. Look at this stinking old fool. Carcass. Now you listen to me. If I count from one to three, and I can still smell your stinking ridiculous scent in this room. Oh my God. I will tell you that you don't own even a pin in this house. Do you understand me? Please, powerful man. Pray for God's mercy. You are only a few inches from from hell. Shut up! Shut up! You disgust me! Ah, come on! Get out of here! Leave! I want to watch the, the, the television. Do you know what TV is? Do you know what television is? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this scumbag. Oh, and you. What are you still waiting for? Move. What are you still waiting for? Move it, old man. Move. Move. Move him. Oh, lousy idiots. Damn. But Lady G, with all seriousness, honestly, I think you had better do something concerning this thing. I mean, send him to some, you know, some home, maybe a home for the invalids. She's right, you know. I mean, he's, he's an embarrassment, a nuisance for that matter. And he has made it a habit to keep burgeoning into rush each time we're having a meeting. You have to suck this guy out. And the sooner you do it, the better for us all. Yeah, no. I've been thinking about it, you see. Um, it's just that I don't want my enemies or the press, you know, to use that old buffoon as an excuse to jettison my political aspirations, you know. But don't worry, babies. By the time we're home, by the time I'm in the Federal House of Senate, I'll settle this issue permanently. Yeah. Okay. So, let's get back to what we were talking about. Yes. Uh, Betty Douglas. Oh, yes. Yes, Betty Douglas. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's forget about Betty Douglas. She's in uh, a forgotten issue. If you think so. <laughs> and why are you laughing? This is music to my ears. <laughs> so, Lady Grace, what are you saying? Do you accept Lady Laura's candidature? Well, noble. Ladies, the lady. 
Well, my stand still remains that Lady Laura here is not strong enough. She is too feeble to go for us. I mean, the most common thing, the most ordinary thing a noble lady of the Queen's Club should be able to do is handle her home. But unfortunately, Lady Laura here has not been able to handle the little niche that is her home. So how on earth is she expected to be able to handle the National Electoral Board? Lady Grace. Yes. I wouldn't want you to talk anything about my home again. I mean, you don't have the right to teach me how to handle my home. Okay? Lady Laura, I am not about teaching you how to handle your home. But what? I am telling it to you that you have not been able to handle your home. So how can you handle the electoral board? Grace, listen and listen good. I'm listening. Politics is a different ball game. So I wouldn't want you to talk anything about my home again. You don't get it, do you? And I am not ready to get it. Oh, please. Politics in this country is about men. You have to be able to handle men, to handle men in politics. I mean... I say I don't want you to men. talk anything Why about my home again. Noble oh, ladies. The big lady. lady. Noble ladies. The, the big lady. lady. Let us all give Lady Betty an audience, please. Noble ladies. The big lady. lady. Well... It is rather too late and very unfortunate for us noble ladies. The issue has already been concluded and settled. She is going for us. Who is concluding what, Lady Betsy? What is it you're trying to do? Impose Lady Laura or not or what? What is this? I don't care what you think or what you say. I have only made a point. Noble ladies. The big lady. And I say, Lady Betsy, it is equally unfortunate for you because it is impossible. Well, 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 well. I have nothing to say to you, but my tentacles will speak for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tentacles? Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, come on, ladies, did you hear that? <laughs> oh, God. Lady Grace, please, this is enough. No, please, just wait, okay? I wait. say is enough. Oh. And I say I am talking. Do you mind? Well, well, well. Lady Betty. The big lady here says that her tentacles will speak for her. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> In that case, Lady Betty, why don't we just stop all this drama, so to say, or should I call it unnecessary fiasco? And let us watch as the tentacles speaks for me and as they speak for me how they'll eventually and speak for me. <laughs> Noble ladies, the big lady. Noble ladies, the big lady. This is enough. We have had enough of these frivolities, for God's sake. Why are we wasting our precious time listening to avoidable misunderstandings? I want us to sort this thing out here and now. Good. Lady Grace, who do you choose for the post? I would like us all to know that whoever is chosen will be sent to the governor's office first thing tomorrow morning for proper appraisal. So who is your candidate? Noble ladies, the big lady. I nominate Lady Carol here for the position. Oh, no wonder. Well, that's all right. We are going to put it on vote. I will not take part in the voting 
to ensure a balanced decision. Any one of you here who supports Lady Carol to be a representative, may you please indicate by raising a hand. One, two, three. If you support Lady Laura, may I see your hands? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my God. <sighs> Lady Grace, as you can see, Lady Laura is going to represent us and not Carol. In that case, with all due respect, noble lady, I, Grace Benson, I will not have it. Grace! Tentacles Lady are speaking Grace. for me. Grace. 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 My tentacles are already speaking for me. Really? Yeah. Why don't you watch and let us see? As it continues to work. <laughs> Let her leave if she has to leave. Let her leave. Lady Laura he has already been chosen, and that's final. Bullshit! You see what I mean, baby? <laughs> My pledge? Yes, no. What? You remember you said when you skilled through your hurdles and um, gained the necessary recognition you desired that you were going to buy him a mansion. Have you forgotten? Oh, that. Mm -hmm. Well, till then. I beg your pardon. Look, of please. course, till then. <laughs> Grace, please. I don't want any problems, okay? You know the way that man and his spirit beings behave. You know the powers they operate with. For God's sake, what else do you want? You've made a lot of money. People now fear and respect you. So what else do you want? Please, redeem their pledge. I don't want problems. I've warned you. Hey, Gladys. What's your problem? I mean, are you daft or what? Have you forgotten that? To get his favors or his period beans, favors, whatever. I had to sacrifice my husband's brains. You, your husband's manhood. That's how we got all that we got. Listen, as far as I am concerned, we've sacrificed enough. He should wait till I get to the top of my political ambitions before he grumbles again. Well, Grace, God knows I've begged. Please. Hey, baby I'm girl. I'm not joking. <sighs> Come on, listen, this is Grace Benson. I'm in charge always, okay? Please. I know exactly what I'm doing, right? You know you're very stubborn. I don't know how I get to cope with you. <laughs> oh, so why are you laughing? Uh, what is funny? But, but I'm serious, you know, you, you know I'm, I'm serious, at least I'm serious about it. Oh God, do you ever take anything seriously? Like what? Like you? I take you very seriously, you know that. Like me? Yeah, like you. Like you. Seriously. Oh, please, spare me. <laughs> now you're laughing. This part of what I'm talking about. Can't you ever... Okay, when you try and be serious, we're getting to... very close. Okay. And you tell me you're serious this way, right? Yeah. Like this, you're very, very serious. Yeah, yeah right. Very, very yeah, serious. right. Look very, at her. Look at her. <laughs> 
You're so naughty. Good. Let me get to cook with you. Make sure you don't enter into the sacred place with your shoes on. Look, I am having a meeting with the spirits. Make sure you don't tamper on them, else you develop elephantitis. Um, where we are standing, is, is it okay? Let me finish. Please, my lord, let me attend to these children. We shall continue with this later. You can come to the chamber, my children. May you live long, great Akemi. Will you shut up, you stubborn child? Any fly that refuses to listen to advice ends up in the grave with the cops. But what have I done wrong, great one? I had your friend advising you to fulfill your pledge, but you paid the fear. How did you know that? <laughs> The spirits told me, as a matter of fact, they are standing beside you, waiting for my command to deal with you. Oh. Please, get to me. It's fine. She's sorry. She, she's just been ignorant. Please, oh, please. Her. Your apology is enough for both of us. Great one, name your price. She is lion hearted. She is my product. But you must thank your personal assistant, for she is your saving grace. The day she ceases being loyal to you is the day you bid your existence good night. For a child that does not know how to drink water drinks with its nostril. There is a huge temptation ahead of you. You must not neglect a positive advice from a loved one. You must not let your temper get the better part of you, for it spells doom. What is your mission? Oh, great one. It's about the forthcoming elections. I want my opponents to be disgraced at the polls, and I to have a landslide victory. <laughs> I'm coming. <clears throat> oh! 
There is success. You will succeed. But we have to get prepared. We have to get prepared for this. Okay. So, what do you want from me? How much will it cost? Oh. Hmm. <laughs> oh, two walk, go, 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 They've nominated the same lady, and I won't have it. Why? Chief. She's... She's like a desicle. I mean, she's obviously inactive. She's going to jeopardize my chances of re-election. Chief, I know that she can't perform. So, who do you want now? Chief, mm. I want someone who, someone who can command the opportunity and convert it effectively. Someone who, when made the electoral commissioner, will use the position to influence our state's own electoral commissioner into playing to my style. <laughs> Is that necessary? Eh? Don't you think that I can control, that I can handle anyone that comes here as electoral commissioner? I know you can. Hmm? I know, it's just that I just don't want to take chances. What with the governor not running for re-election and kind of being so lukewarm about issues concerning the election. My son-in-law is the uh, party chairman. Will always update me with goings on prior to election. You understand what I'm saying? I have told you times to that number. Stop worrying yourself because that senatorial seat belongs to you. I want you to trust me. Understand? This is Ambassador Durojima speaking to you. I'm the one talking to you. I can lay all your fears. Or don't you trust me anymore? I do. Mm -hmm. I trust you, Chief. But perhaps this one last help will solidify my trust in you. <laughs> Is that so? All right, my dear. Consider it an accomplished mission. Excuse me. Femi! Femi! Yes, honey? Get us something to drink. Okay, I'm coming, honey. So, 
Are all the names approved? Definitely. That's why I'm here. Very well then. Let me hear it. Um, well, there was a slight change. Change? Yeah. Change? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Save him. Thank you. Why are you distressed? I want to go out and see somebody, a friend. You want to start messing around with those little girls? Will you go upstairs and wait for me? Ah, Connie, you know me now. I'm not like that. I wouldn't want to repeat myself. Okay. So you were about saying something. Yeah. The national chairman and the president, Francis Donnell, someone who is very loyal to CDP. That will in no time uh, compromise the success of the party. So the governor refused to assent on your nominee. Mr. Chairman, this is very awful. So what do we do? The vacuum was immediately replaced with someone else because there was no time to start uh, reconsulting. This uh, beats back to what I told you earlier, to nominate your best bet. And Senator Adams too told you that. Mr. Chairman, this is totally unacceptable to me. It's a slight on my personality and I'm going to protest it. I'm so sorry, Barrister. The list has been sent to National Assembly for screening and approval. God. And there is nothing I can do about that. I'm so sorry. Damn it! Damn it! Chris steps on my toes. Chris taps me on the back. <laughs> Let her get on her max, because the race is about to start. Great hits me! I'm going to hit her. I'm going to hit her, and I'm, she will feel it. She will feel it. Come with Grace. Oh! I still totally don't want to believe that this is what Grace is doing. I don't want to believe it. If it is not Grace, then who? Could have planted Carol in your place. Who? I am suspecting the state party chairman. You see what I'm saying? The state party chairman is Chief Jimo's son in law. And what is Chief Jimo to Grace? Actually, what Grace did was totally against our norms and ethics. Oh. You see, she took us aback. <sighs> oh. And I'm going to take her 29 times right behind. The fool is calling. Good. Take the call. <laughs> no way. Me. Answer Grace's call. I cannot. Yes. Pick up that phone. Hear her out first of all. Hear her out. What do you want from me, Grace? Hello, big lady. Calm down, okay? Just calm down. I just wanted to find out if you've heard the last on whose name was finally sent to the National Assembly for the screening, I mean. As to the resident electoral commissioner's post, hmm? Grace, you know by this, you have stepped on my toes. Do you know what I'm going to do in return? No. I am going to pounce on you. Grace, you are mistaking the tigress's gentility for cowardice. The same fangs with which it fights 
it also plays. And I'm going to tear you into pieces, great. I am going to tear you into pieces. And listen to me. Let this be the last time you will call this line. I hope you heard me well. <laughs> Round one. What did she say? The moron is bragging about the whole thing. Really? Grace is making jamless statements. Worthless statements. About the whole thing. And you know what, ladies? I am going to open the books of wisdom and teach her a lesson she will never forget in her life. I will teach Grace a lesson and she will never forget me. I think Grace is getting too far. I need to call her and bring her back home. That won't be necessary, Laura. Why? It's okay. We're going to have a meeting tomorrow and sort this thing out once and for all. No way, hmm. Lady Winnie. No way! Me! Sit in the same meeting with Grace? No, that will make her feel important. Yes, that will make her feel crucial, which she is not. She will, she will feel like somebody. No way. I am not going to give her the opportunity of sitting in the same place to discuss any issue with her. Oh, I am going to deal with Grace. Well, ladies, it's okay. Leave everything to me. I am going to handle Grace's case. I will deal with Grace. My goodness. I am going to deal with Grace. Oh, I am a lioness. Congratulations. <laughs> Residential Electoral Commissioner. <laughs> REC. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. But you know I owe it all to you. Especially my prospective senator. Oh, I'm not a toast to a prospective senator. <laughs> oh, yes. Toast. But it's not a prospect. It's a certainty. Now, my tentacles are talking. Oh, and they're definitely gonna hear it out loud. <laughs> Very loud indeed. <laughs> and yes, at least for this time, let me feel on top of Betty Douglas. <laughs> oh, Betty will be frizzled when she hears this. Ah, I can't wait. <laughs> oh, yes. She can even go nuts and naked. You know, I only wanted to push her into recognizing that I've long deserved her respect, as long as the Queen's Club is concerned. Lady G. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when I do become a senator, mark my words, girls, I said when, not if. I had it, go. <laughs> when I do become a senator, mm -hmm. I will show her how to move tentacles. <laughs> Lady <laughs> Jean! <laughs> My able senator. And this is just for a start. Girls, you know what? They say life is beautiful. Mm -hmm. But you know what I think? Yes. I believe it's only for those who have something to show for it. People like Grace Benson. Did right on, she? girl. My able senator. Senator Grace Benson. Benson. <laughs> that was so good, man. And girls, this is just the beginning. Uh oh. Now watch out. My, my lady. lady. My <laughs> senator. Hey, say that again. Oh, <laughs> Boss. Oh, yes, madam. What about the posters? It is in progress now. I mean, the pristine. The guys contacted our status since yesterday. Good.
car with Mrs. Arby on shopping. The big lady. The iron lady. The noble lady. Oh, David, please don't start. Um, madam, these are some of the party executives. This is uh, Mr. Emmanuel Effion, the senatorial district chairman of the party. I'm pleased to meet you, Mr. Effion. You're welcome. Man. Thank you. And this is the secretary of the senate district of the party, Mr. Tony Ekwe. Nice to meet you. You're yeah, welcome. Thank you, Mr. Ekwe. Um, the woman leader, Mrs. Rita Clark. Oh, now I am so pleased to meet you. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Thank you so very much for coming. So, may we all sit down? Well, I indeed ask the Honorable Chairman here and Mr. Secretary to summon this rather informal meeting so that I can at least meet with you all. You all know what is at stake. Since the primaries are this close, I think this meeting is not just necessary, it is imperative. Well, you know that uh, the delegates who will be voting are all human beings and can be influenced. So I want you all to ensure that all the votes be for me, Grace Benson. And I can assure you that I don't easily forget favors done for me. Exactly. Well, when you all must have played your own parts in the verbal sense, I will then compliment with the green card. The objective of this meeting is to have you all gather for me the delegates in three days. Let me have the schedule and the venue so that I can meet with the delegates face to face and of course with cash in hand. Thank you. Well, madam, I've heard and know you so much I always know that it's you that the demand and responsibilities of our district called for. Right from the announcement of your ambitions to us months back. So on behalf of I and my comrades here, I would say that you have our total support. <laughs> and we will do as you have pleaded. You will hear from us in two days now. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Thank you so very much. I'm so happy and I am so, so impressed. Thank you very much. I can assure you all that the fruit of this meeting will be to you all's benefit once you ensure that victory is mine. Thank you. Thank you so very much. For today's meeting, um, I'm afraid I don't have much in stock for you. But um, when I leave, Honorable Chairman here will let you all have my little token of 500,000 Naira each. Oh! That is nothing. I can assure you all that more is coming your way. <laughs> now I have to 
run because I have this engagement that I have to rush to. Once again. Once welcome. again, Mr. Ifian, thank you very much. You're welcome. It was nice. I don't welcome. You most especially, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Ikwe. Thank you, madam. Thank you very much for being here. Once again, madam, I assure you that we we give you our total support to make sure you clinch the seat of the Senate. Oh, <laughs> thank you very much. I am so pleased once again. The world is wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. All right. Ladies. I invited just the two of you here in my capacity as the leader of the Queen's Club so that we will talk and reach a truce over this your incessant in Brooklyn. Please, Betty, please, don't let this get out of hand. I don't want it to get above our club's aspirations, please. Aspirations? Did you just say club aspirations, big lady? Come. What was it when Laura was nominated for the resident electoral commissioner's appointment? What was it? Betty. My dear lady Betty. Or is it Dougie Douglas? Chris. <laughs> what is it that is so deep into you. I mean, you seem to be uncomfortable with my majestic presence. Or is it my senatorial ardent? <laughs> you are not referring to me in any way. I, I can bet to that. Ladies, that. please let us not start. Please. No, wait, big lady. We're not about to quarrel. I'm just trying to find out from this disgruntled element what exactly it is about me that nauseates her so much. Is it my fame? I mean, my rising prestige and nobility? Or could it be my unquenchable super connections? What is it exactly, dear lady? You see, Grace, if I have flying tunes for a slot of your sort. I will call you. I have your numbers. You dare to call me a slot, Betty? Oh, yes. That is, if the word whore is not so outdated. Ladies, come on, come on, come on, please, please, please. Let us all stop this. For God's sake, where are your manners? You mean you are talking to me? You this two-bit hooker? Okay, please, where are your manners? No, 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 no. Lady, you talk to this barking mad dog because if she dares point those cursed fingers at me again, I am going to deal with her. And if I do, what will you do? If I do, what will you do? In fact, I will do it and even more, you just please. Aspirations? Did you just say club aspirations, big lady? Come. What was it when Laura was nominated for the resident electoral commissioner's appointment? What was it? Betty. My dear lady Betty. Or is it Dougie Douglas? Yes. <laughs> what is it that is so deep into you. I mean, you seem to be uncomfortable with my majestic presence. Or is it my senatorial ardent? <laughs> you are not referring to me in any way. I, I can bet to that. Ladies, that. please let us not start. Please. No, wait, big lady. We're not about to quarrel. I'm just trying to find out from this 
disgruntled element. What exactly it is about me that nauseates her so much? Is it my fame? I mean, my rising prestige and nobility? Or could it be my unquenchable super connections? What is it exactly, dear lady? You see, Grace, if I have flying tunes for a slot of your sort, I will call you. I have your numbers. You dare to call me a slot, Betty? Oh, yes. That is, if the word haul is not so outdated. Ladies, come on, come on, come on, please, please, please. Let us all stop this. For God's sake, where are your manners? You mean you are talking to me? You this two-bit hooker? Okay, please, where are your manners? No, 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 no. Lady, you talk to this barking mad dog because if she dares point those cursed fingers at me again, I am going to deal with her. And if I do, what will you do? If I do, what will you do? In fact, I will do it and even more, you desperate hooker. Speak to me? Yes, what can you do about it? Grace Benson, you dare speak to me? Yes. How dare you? How dare you? Next time you insult me, I am going to deal with you. I'm going to use my fangs on you. You have forgotten I am the lioness. Silly ass. Stupid. It's okay, it's okay, Grace. It's okay, please. It's okay, please. We have to feel the real me. Ah, no. I take it from Grace. Go oh, away. I just think. Uh, yes, what do you want? Uh, What's you, that? Would you move out of the way? For what? You know who I am? I ask an I, I, I demand an answer. I ask a question. You answer. I'll get yourself into more trouble. Just move out of the way. Harold! Yes, ma'am. You're so miscreant. Mr. Man, you burned into my house like that. Sir, that is the woman. I am Inspector David from Area 2 Police Command. Are you Mrs. Betty Douglas? Point of correction. I am Chief Dr. Mrs. Betty Douglas. You are under arrest. For what? For assaulting an innocent fellow woman. Do you have a warrant to that? Yes, of course. Who endorsed it? Oh, what is all this nonsense? Officer, you're wasting too much time here. Get out of here, woman. You don't have to come into this house and start backing. This is my house. House my foot. Officer, I said, get her. Please, Lady Grace, take it easy. No, you don't get involved in this. You collaborator. What? You call me names? Grace, please do not insult me. I'm only here to make peace. Hey, woman. This is about mountains, not hills. I okay. beg your pardon. When mountains talk, hills go silent. Okay? Madam, please respect your personality. 
I saved my time. Well, shut up! In that case, my driver is not in. So you don't expect me to descend so low as to be driven in a police van as a common criminal? Oh, come on. What's all this rubbish? You look too different from a common criminal yourself. So why don't you just stop whipping up unnecessary excuses? The information says you are under arrest. Officer, you will either want this woman to keep quiet here or I will assault her the more in most undoing manner. Madam, please do help us to accomplish our aim here amicably. She is our guide to the subject and she has the right to remain here by our own authorization. Okay. In that case, she has to be quiet. With all due respect for your personality, I will offer the services of one of my men who will drive you down to the station. And you can call on your driver to come there and meet you if the need arises. Okay. I'll have to make some calls then. No. I object to that, officer. Officer, she's at it again. Madam, calm down, please. No, she can't make no calls, okay? Calm down, madam, please. Officer, please, I want everybody to lend me the peace that was existing in this house before you people came in. I want to talk on my phone. Yes, hello. Good day, Mr. Commissioner. Yeah, it's me, Chief Dr. Mrs. Betty Douglas. Uh, yeah, some of your officers are right here in my house. They said they have come to arrest me. Well, they said they have a warrant. I don't know. I didn't even care to ask. Yes, Mr. Commissioner. Okay, Mr. Commissioner. Mr. Commissioner wants to talk with you. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Good day, sir. Inspector David from Area 2 Police Command, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Madam, the Commissioner has instructed that she should meet us at the station. He wants to speak to you. Hello, this is Grace Benson. Yes? All right, Mr. Commissioner. Thank you. Well, Betsy. Douglas. Like I said earlier on, this is about mountains. I will be coming back for you in a bigger mountainous form. So don't you rejoice too much yet. Sorry, Grace, you call yourself mountain. Of course, yes, I am. No, no. We are not up to a hill yet. Really? Well, I'll be waiting for you in a big way. In that case, see you soon. <laughs>
I'm so glad you came. I mean, I feel so passionate every time you, I'm around you. Same <laughs> You know what? What? You're the sweetest thing that has happened to me in a long, long while. And it feels so good to know. <laughs> but don't you think you're living dangerously? How? Oh. Sleeping with a married woman, of course. It's sinful. Well, well, unfortunately, my orientation teaches me differently. As I was raised in a polygamous family, and oh, my father, my father sleeps with anything he's got, married or not. He has no regard for the marriage institution, I tell you. Don't their husband react in any way? <laughs> they do. They do. But he deals with them ruthlessly. And others are too afraid to confront him. Well, because he's well connected and um, he's a political bigwig and all the political you cannot and all that. That's uh, my father. And that way, I will deal with anyone who dares come between you and I, especially your girlfriend. You know about that? Yes. It was obvious. The way she attacked us the other time. It had jealousy written all over it. My dear, you must be careful. I haven't fallen in love before, until now. And that's the reason why this relationship must end. We must not meet again. What? You're joking, aren't you? No, I'm not. If I love you, then I must tell you the truth. I'm not a very free woman. I know. I know, I know you're married, but we can always work things no, out. No, it's not my problem. Not exactly. <laughs> what exactly? I have a very dangerous and jealous lover. Someone who is even more powerful and ruthless. And if I must add, deadly too. Even more deadly for my liking. Glad you underestimate me. Honestly. Well, nevertheless, when we get to the bridge, we'll cross it. Okay?
here. Oh, Damien. Yes, madam. The honorable chairman. <laughs> You're a gentleman, you know. Thank you. Hmm. You're not looking badly at all. Thank you. This your new position befits you. Thank you. <laughs> well, you're not doing badly for yourself. As the state chairman of a ruling party, you've really done well. Thank you, madam. Anyway, that's by the way. How about your family? They're all fine. Um, please, could you go straight to the point? I have an order appointment somewhere else. I know. I actually invited you for business. Let's go inside. No, 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 no. As you can see, I have other things to do. Please, just make it. Through. Well, I understand. As the chairman, <laughs> meeting here, meeting there, everything. And that's okay. Okay. Uh, well, Damien, you know, there's an adage that says not all that glitters are gold. We all can see that the situation of things in the country now tells us that we really need people who are principled and God-fearing to pilot the affairs of this country. You agree with me? Yeah, I quite agree with you. You are the state chairman of the Congress Democratic Party, the ruling party. <laughs> yeah. And we all know you have a say in who gets what in that party. Chairmanship, House of Reps, and senatorial tickets per se. Don't tell me you want a ticket. You nearly hit the target. So tell me, what do you want? <laughs> well, uh, it would be good if People who are credible are allowed to pilot the affairs of this country. Yeah. Well, Damien, since you agree with me, I want you to do everything humanly possible to deny Grace Benson the ticket for the senatorial seat in your party. Do it for me, and I'll pay you. Pay me? Yeah. And how much could that be? I'll pay you... 50 million naira. Fifty million naira. Mm -hmm. To betray my party. You don't need to call that betrayal. We have agreed that uh, credible people should be put in positions to pilot the affairs of this country. Both of us agree. Damien, your chairmanship and your party cannot give you 50 million naira on a platter of gold. And that's what I'm offering you. CDP, progress. progress. CDP, progress. progress. CDP, progress to the people. <laughs> Oh, how nice. Also tell all the other delegates that what she gave them was peanuts. I am going to hit them all with real butts. Yes. I am going to give them ten times what she gave them. <laughs> As for you, Inakako. Though this is just from the start, the real thing comes after a successful execution of the job. What you have in this bag are not painted papers. They are real words of our currency. As you can see, 
we have in that bag the sum of five million naira. Yes. Uh, Mr. Chairman, you have two million naira. 1.5 million naira a piece, secretary and madam. Oh, thank you very thank you, madam. much. Do we have a deal? Yes. We are madam. On behalf of my humble self and my community, we assure you that the seat is yours. Good. Very good. Uh, Mr. Chairman. Yes, madam. You and madam have to see you later. CDP progress. CDP progress. CDP progress to the people. Yes. Well, I know what politics is, and I'm happy the way things are going. So, how are you feeling? Hmm. I'm okay, Gladys. You know, it beats me. I can't imagine what gave Betty Douglas the infantry to raise her filthy hands on you. <laughs> she can't get away with it. She has to be punished. Claude, have you ever seen where one steps on the tail of a viper and gets away with it? No, and that's why I can't imagine why she did what she did. Or she probably was on drugs or something. I don't care. I don't care what she was on. If she was under the influence of drugs or whatever, I don't care. Betty Douglas will feel the venom of the viper that is Grace Benson. I will deal with her. You just watch out. Trust me, I will bring her down to her knees. Believe it. Betty Douglas. Betty Douglas. Just look, look at how you are dressed. Like a city prostitute. Where will you? Square up to you, your matrimonial re 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 responsibilities. When will you change? And where are you coming from? I, I was coming from the church, of course. So, can I have something to eat? Please, just shut up there, okay? Shut it. Stop salivating all over me. Oh my God, Samuel! Samuel! Yes, ma'am. Samuel. Yes, ma'am. How did this wastrel get out? You cannot imprison me in my house, Grace. I said, shut your dirty mouth. Can't you hear me? Shut it! What's all this? imprison you in your own house. Do you have a house? Do you look to yourself like something that lives in a house? What are you? Are you... You take yourself for a man? You're less than a man. You're not even... You're not even a quarter of a man. I don't know what to call you. Imprison you in your own house. <laughs> Excuse me. Shut your mouth when I'm talking. So you just let him get out. Just like that. I'm sorry, Ma. I don't know where he left the house. You know what? You're a goat. You're an idiot. You're a beast. I'm sorry, Ma. Now you listen to me. Before I count four, I want you to have flown back to your room. Now, one. I said I want to, to eat. Give me so something to eat. Two. Please, madam, give him something to eat. What? 
Did you, by any chance, open your mouth? I'm sorry, no. Oh, no. How dare you open your, your rotten mouth? Talking, when I'm talking. Meddling in my private affairs. Do not be offended, me. Oh, no. <sighs> Listen to me. If you ever dare it again, I'll have you disciplined by your superiors. I'll have you taken away from here and thrown to some obscure village. Did you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Now get away from here. Get out of my sight. Go back to the gate. That's where you belong. I mean, can you imagine? This garbage can? This garbage? Ordinary sergeant? Meddling in my affairs? All because of this... Because of this comeback. And may that go punish you. Come on! Follow me. Go to your room. sends criminals to attack me. <laughs> Good. If that's what she wants, so be it. How is my driver? The doctor said he will be all right. I was only shot on his left shoulder. <laughs> he also said that the bullet has been retrieved. Good. Hmm. Okay. You drive me to the government house right now. Hmm? Let me get ready. All right, ma'am. Yes, they've arrived, but 
the candidates out there, the other candidates seem to be in better control of them than I am. What? Damien, is that what you're going to say? That I haven't done my work? Is that what you're going to tell me, Damien? That I haven't done my work well? Is that what you're telling me? Now you listen to me, Damien. With or without you, Damien, I'm going to win. I, Grace Benson, will win the primaries. Okay? Rubbish! Utter rubbish! What is he saying? Can you imagine the idiot? The idiot? He's just talking bullshit. He's just, he's just talking bullshit. Sir, what? Listen, let me just... I'm trying to call Chief, but his, his number is not going as well. What is happening? What is happening? Something is going on out there. What is going on? Somebody seems to have taken me backwards. Calm down, Lady G. Calm down. You don't understand, Carol. You don't need to get yourself walked off. Calm down. Calm down. Yeah, hello, Bumi. This is Carol. Yes, it's really been a long time, yes. I've been so busy. Yeah. Um, Bumi, I need an urgent favor from you. Yes, your husband. Please, can you make him do something about my friend's sanitary ambition? Of course I know that the, the primaries are today. That's why I'm calling. Bumi, it's me you're talking to. <sighs> yes. Grace Benson of North Senatorial District. Yes, please, please. Please, just let him find a way of convincing the president about this. I beg you. Yeah, please. Thank you. Thank you so very much. I knew I could count on you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. I'll call you back. Thank you. Bye. So? That was Bumi. You know Bumi's husband? Yes, I know. The PA to the president on um, political matters? Yes. So, you need to calm down. Everything is under control. I'm optimistic about this, okay? So don't worry. The president's aid? Yes. So calm down, okay? Now can I get the food? No, forget it. I've lost my appetite. Lady G. Why are you doing this? You don't understand, Carol. I know that something is happening out there. Somebody is toying with me. Somebody is playing games with me. Lady G, you know that with or without Damien or anyone, you are going to win. Yes, I know. With or without them, Grace Benson will win these primary elections. Since you know that, the more reason why you should relax and eat something. Don't get yourself worked up over nothing. Okay? So... Honey, can I get the food? No, please, don't bother, don't bother. She moves like lightning, she strikes. Surprise. That's the general. Please sit. I didn't come here to sit. How dare you? How dare you, Damien? I know what gave you the guts 
If your father-in-law were to be in the country, would you have dared what you tried on me? Would you have tried it? Unfortunately, madam, the, the result was not in your favor. Even if I release the result now, probably you will fail. <laughs> I know that you are playing games, Mr. Damien. I mean, isn't that preemptive of you? You released the results of all the other districts, and yet you had the audacity to withhold mine? Well, Mrs. Benson, your districts have had so many anomalies during the voting. So unless the vote has been rectified by the electoral board, it cannot be released. But you, Damien, you can rectify the so-called anomalies yourself, can't you? Guess you are right, madam. But I will not do it. We have to wait for the two process. Really? Yeah. Now you listen to me, Mr. Damien. I have belittled myself enough for you. So. Why don't we just sit back and watch? My name is Grace Benson. So, sit back and watch just exactly who wins this battle. Now, good day, Mr. Damien. Anything yet. The climax will be when the final result is released and she finds her name running blank in the list. <laughs> that will be all for you, you know. <laughs> After all the bragging, she finds herself out of margin. No! That would be wonderful. Well, one could differentiate between. Ladies of run and ladies of noise. Yes. I am a lady of class. Yes. I do my runs cutely. Grace will learn the ethics of being submissive. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see her face. It's like the shame of the bride falling off the hills on her wedding day. <laughs> I can't imagine the pain. <laughs> and the shame was that terrible. After all this senator, senator, charade. Oh my God. Um, just slumping with this sort of ignominy. My dear, ignominy is the best treatment for a traitor and an ingrate like Grace. Hmm? Oh my God. <laughs> well, the Minister for Agriculture assured me of her failure at all costs. I can't really wait to see her face. <laughs> you see it. Big lady. Cheers, baby. Oh, cheers, my sweetheart. Honey, pal. <laughs> Calm down. I can't stand still, don't you understand? I can't sit still. I know something is going down. But you're not helping matters what you're doing. Don't you understand? I believe whatever is happening out there, Betty Douglas has a hand in it. Yes. I have to think. But you have to calm down as well. Yes. Don't you understand? I can't afford to fail. But you you will not fail. fail.
Yes, Senator. Yeah. Of course, I'm still uncomfortable. It's okay. All right, if you say so. Yeah, thank you very much. I will. Thank you. Bye. So, that was Senator Bamidele. And? He's promised to do something. You see, now you have to calm down. At least calm down for now. Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't, oh. I can't. If the Senator has promised that he will do something, he definitely will. I would just suggest that you call the PA to sample the situation, that's all. He's already sent a text a few minutes ago. And what did he say? Well, he said, um, I shouldn't mind Damien, that uh, they'll handle it from their headquarters. Now that's a promising response. So please calm down, okay? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. So, please do calm down. I can't afford to let Betty Douglas get the better of me. The main reason why we have to go back to the drawing board. But you can only do that by being calm. Yes. When you're calm, you can think right. And aside that, no matter what strings Betty Douglas is pulling, you have your tentacles. You know it won't work. The more reason why you should calm down, Lady G. You're right. I just have to move those tentacles once more. Still on the National Assembly primary elections, the National Secretariat of the Congress Democratic Party has confirmed the reception of the withheld North Senatorial District primary election results. In a statement earlier this morning, the CDP Public City Secretary, Mr. Adimora Obiwane, confirmed that the result has been taken to the Secretariat by the Electoral Committee late last night. The result released to the press shows that the only woman contesting for the sole ticket in the district, Mrs. Grace Benson Obaseki, emerged winner with over 65% of total votes cast during the primary election. <laughs> How come? Even when the results are still here with me, even when it's obvious, God, this is unbelievable. This is unacceptable. Damn it. Let's, let's go out. Let's go have fun. Uh, let's, let's go celebrate this. Yes. Let me get my back. Oh, wow! Right. <laughs> Thank you very much, baby! Oh, girl! Oh, girl! What's this one? It's Lady Ball. Okay. Hello, Lady D! You saw it? Yes, girl! I'm on my way to Abuja! <laughs> Yeah, we want to go out to have fun. Don't worry, we'll call you. We'll call you and tell you where we are, okay? All right. I'm okay. I'll give you a lot to them. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you very much. It's Lady Paula, I know. Okay. <laughs> Grace wins me again? God, I am disgraced. I have been put to shame. God. What do I do now? How do I battle Grace next? How? 
<sighs> no. Grace can't. She can't. I will not succumb to this shame. No. No way. It's forward ever. Backward never. I will not succumb to this defeat. Never. Well, ladies, this is goodness coming our way. And I would like to advise us all to work together in unity to attain this aspiration. I can see Lady Betty indicating to say something. Thank you, lady. The big lady. No, the big lady. lady. I, Chief Dr. Mrs. Betty Douglas, wish to inform this honorable house that I want to vie for the post of Senate with the NNPP. Thank you. Noble ladies, lady, lady, lady. I want to say straight away to Lady Betty that it's very wrong for you to want to go in for the Senate, since you know that Lady Grace here is already on for it. I think it's very wrong. And it's against the ethics of our club. Noble ladies. The big lady. Carol is talking. And why don't I talk? Because she is going in. And what do I make of you? What's yes. your own? When women of substance are talking, you, women of substance, indeed, need to wait. Need to wait. Need to wait? What do you understand by the word need to wait? You tell me. And secondly, you are classless and wordless. And listen, I don't bandy words with things like you. Do you understand me? Look at you, toothless backing dog. Please sit down. And when you talk to me, talk with respect. Come Nonsense. You What's sit. wrong with you? Please, ladies, ladies, please. ladies, ladies, ladies. Sit down, please. Sit down, both of you. What is your problem anyway? The speech was not directed to any of you. So what's your problem? Let us have some peace here, please. No lady, the big lady. lady. Well, I have critically considered my intention to vie for this post and I don't think anything can make me withdraw my intentions. The norms and ethics of this noble club died that fateful day that Lady Grace here walked out on the noble decision of this house and went ahead to sabotage it. Lady Betty? Yeah? You say that you want to contest the Senate with me. I'm already on. <laughs> so come on then. Let's slog it out. I'm on. I mean, just look at you. Look at you. A common carpet crosser, an imposter. I mean, you tried all you could to make sure that I did not clinch the ticket. But what happened? What is the outcome after all? Whose tentacles have spoken the loudest? Who has won? Yeah. Lady Grace, you won. And that is why I want to stop you from winning again. Very funny. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I think you should just keep quiet, you shameless bitch, and sit your ass down. Let's see you win it. I want to see how you clinch that ticket, you slatten. Noble ladies. The big lady. I want to formally inform this honorable house that I already have the ticket to vie for the post of Senate with NNPP. And you, you know, it is not all about noise making. This is time for action. And when tigresses are on ground, you see action. You see people walk. And you see things walk out. That is my information. 
and I rest my case here. We shall meet at the polls. Vengeance is sweet. Take no defeat. We love the street. Sorry, madam. Dr. Luca is here to see you. Hello, my queen. You're welcome. Oh, thank you. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. And you? We're fine. So, what's up? Everything is fine. You don't expect me to keep you standing, or do you? Well, that is my queen. You are always sparkling and never tantalizing, you know. Sit down. Oh, thank you. You know? You can say that again. Uh, How is the house of friends? Well, the house is bubbling with uh, beers of uh, beers and uh, motions waiting to be passed and adopted, you know. I know. So has it been with you here? Fine. Oh, doctor, you are looking more honorable now than the last time I saw you. <laughs> How is uh, Senator Yeku? Well, it's fine. He's dying to meet you and even the minister too. I see. Well, I'll be seeing them very soon in Abuja. Uh, well, Lady B, you see, I don't want to cut in, but uh, I just want to inform you that I will be leaving back to Abuja this evening. You say what? No, you see, the... House Committee on Aviation will be embarking on a uh, formalization tour of all the airports tomorrow morning. And like you know, as the chairman of that committee, it's my duty to be with them on the tour. This is absurd. Why in this kind of hurry? No, no, you, you see, I have told you and... Uh, anyway, what is cooking here? Well, Doctor... I want the NNPP North District Senatorial Ticket at all costs. What? Are you kidding me? No, I am not. I am very serious. Serious? You call this seriousness? Eh? But I thought you said you were leaving that slot because of your alter ego. When did you become a press man, Doctor? No, I am not a press man. I... Then why are you interrogating me? I am not interrogating you. You know the primary is just next week Saturday, barely 10 days from now. Yes. Oh, it's not a shocking news. Look, Doctor, I want that ticket at all costs. That is my resolve. What? Yes, I have a job for you right now. I want you to move right now. Go get me, Chief Tekina, the NNPP State Chairman's direct phone numbers before the night runs out. Get it? I must call him tonight. Tonight? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, madam, it, it is already late in the evening. I, I, I would have... Um... Shut up! Listen, boss, I am Grace Benson. Whenever I want anything, I get it. I don't tolerate incompetence, and you know that. So you move and get me those numbers tonight. 
because I must call him tonight and it will still be late by the time you get back. Move it. At your service, madam. Wait. What? What are you up to, Grace? Stop getting on my nerves, you worthless slob. Oh, please. You daughter of KGB. Repent and turn away from your evil deeds. To repent, pray fervently. I can see your soul waiting in hellfire. Pray, pray this lesson. You sorceress. Yes. Hello, good evening. Yeah, good evening. Yes, uh, Chief Tekena here. Uh, who's in the light place? Yes, Chief Tekena, this is Grace Benson. Grace Benson? Yes, Chief. Uh, okay, you had the CDP non senatorial discreet aspirant, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Chief, your old time friend, Senator Bamidele. He referred me to you. He gave me your number. Bamidili. Oh, Aki. Yes, what is it, madam? Well, I need us to talk, like I said. You need us to talk? Yes, I would like us um, to meet for a small meeting in a business environment, if you don't mind. Okay. Where's that your place? Oh, oh, okay, okay. No, I know that place, Meryl. I'll be with you. Thank you very much, Chief. Thank you. Sorry, I have. Shut up your mouth. What is good about the morning? What is good about the morning? Sit down, Gary. So what is your problem? I'm asking you, what is your problem? Eh? Why have you become so evasive? I will send for you here and uh, you, you are you doing the appearing act. Abby, what's your problem? Eh? You have responsibility to run the family business. And you're already being distracted. But, but what is your distraction? But Dad, I have already concluded the business on phone. You shut up! Is it telephone that they conclude all businesses? What kind of uh, ten cobalt business are you talking about? Is that the kind of thing I, 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 I'm asking you to do? Eh? You concluded on, tele, uh, on telephone? Eh? Okay, why were you not in Europe last week? Why were you not in Europe last week? And why were you conspicuously absent at the meeting of board of directors of my group of companies? Why? Oh, you should be phoning into the, the, the boardroom to be talking to each of them and then to make your point. Eh? I, me, I know that the only distraction that I have from my business is because of my involvement in politics. And you know that I am headed for the top. Yes. Or will you not be happy to see your father as the president of the Federal Republic? I will, Dad. You will. So why? what is your problem? Eh? What is your problem? Answer me. I'm sorry, Dad. It's just that I'm, I'm falling in love. Will you shut up your mouth? What is wrong with you? I am talking about family business. You're telling me I'm falling in love. For, you're falling in what? Ah, Amoy. You must be very careful. I am not joking with you at all. I am not joking at all. I'm sorry, Dad. Very sorry. Falling in love. Come. Tell him, Tom. Who, who is she? Who, Dad? Yes. Your love affair. Who is that one? Uh, she is someone you introduced to me, Dad. Really? Yes. 
Yes. Well, <coughs> she must be very pretty. That very, very pretty. Try to help you out. Stupid boy. Better than you can imagine. Let me ask you. <laughs> Is she uh, very good at it? You know what I mean. Very, very good, Dad. Better than you can ever imagine. Shut off your mouth, you stupid boy. A stupid boy. He's very, very good at it. Let me warn you now so that you don't forget. You see those women? You see those women? When they are doing what they are doing with you, their mind is working. Your own mind becomes blank. You understand? Your mind becomes blank. So anything they print in it, you will accept. So yeah. Yes. When you are busy, you are telling. You know, she will begin to make those demonic suggestions about signing away this sign. Don't go and sign my company away, oh. Chogba. Yes, Dad. Don't go. <laughs> I think every check that you have to sign for cash or transfer, I must counter sign. Because now that you have started enjoying women, I was a virgin at your age. Forget the number of women that I have now. I was a virgin at your age. Shut boy. But dad, I'm a big boy, I can handle it. Shut up, I'm a big boy. Big boy with your, your father's money. Eh? When you are yattering on the bed, who ha, who ha. The girl's brain is working computer. He's calculating how much he's going to take from you, and as she's whispering into you, you are agreeing and doing it. And then you, when you finish, you begin to sign away. Sure, I'll. Where I go? Where that? Ewami, Ewoni T. Petrus, which one is Petrus that you are answering? I'm not you see your name that I gave you. You know that. Your birth certificate is in the house. I'll bring it and show to you. Why are you answering Petrus? They came. What is the meaning of Petrus? Dad, Petrus is an international name. Shut your mouth. It's not an African name. Your identity is most important to me. When you grow up, you will know that it's important. Petrus. Petrus. Don't let me hear that name in your mouth again. And if anybody tells me about uh, Petrus, I'll tell them that that is not the name of my son. Amodu Lukoi. You are Amodu. So yeah. Right. You are Amodu. Go. Thank you, Dad. Don't go and begin to tell your stepmothers that you found me in Lagos, you in a hotel with a woman, you. Are you listening to me? Yes. As far as they are concerned, I'm in Abuja pursuing uh, contracts. Uh, you understand? This place you are now is Abuja to them. To Balos of Nobeko Nimowa. If you tell them that I'm in Lagos, I shall deal ruthlessly with you. But I know that you are my boy, that uh, you will <laughs> keep that in secret, secret. Very good. Oshie. Chogo. Toba saw if you tell what you saw. Mm -mm. My dad. Good. Hmm. Petrus. How can somebody have a son and they, they, they name him Petrus? Petrus, you are joking me. Are we Greeks? He says a Greek name. Hey, baby. Yeah, it is it is my son? Oh, hello. How are you? Fine. And you? Well, I'm fine too. Chief taken her? Yes. Please, be seated. Thank you. So, madam, what is this meeting all about? 
drink, firstly? No, I'm in a hurry. Yes. This meeting is about money. Money? So? How would it be if you destabilized Dr. Betty Douglas's emergence as your party's not senatorial district flag bearer? Are you instigating me against the possible winning of my party in the sensational pressure? No. I know that your party's winning does not depend on a sleazy late entrant. She was my ally, and I can very well assure you that we were both pioneer patriots of the CDP. She just wants to use your party to perpetuate her miscellaneous machinations and dump you. That's her aim. If I could understand you very well, you want me to work against my party? That is rather an Aquilian task. Money or no money. Chief Tickenham, I'm not asking you to do anything out of the ordinary. We but know this is politics. And in politics, when money talks, bullshit works. Chief Tekina. I have in here for you one million dollars. One million cool cash dollars. And with this kind of money, Chief, you can make anything happen. Or don't you think so? Yes, we're nice doing business with you. Ah. Thank you. I knew that I could depend on you. Any time. Any time. I'm not your call. Thank you. God bless you. You're welcome. is busy thinking right now <laughs> of what my next move is going to be. I'm sure she's thinking real hard. Yes. She must be wondering the kind of results I'm going to send next. No, I like that word, missile you just used. Gosh, you just imagine your silence. I need something. You know, I need, I need to make a new move, you know? I, I, I have to do something. Not to worry, I guess you'll come up with something real fast soon. Yeah, dear, I... I will, I will. <sighs> what is keeping Carol? I guess she's on her way here. Ah, oh, don't have all this time. I don't have all day. She knows we need to have this meeting. That might just be her. Yes. Hello, ladies. Hello, ladies. Mm. Yeah. You look very gorgeous. Can I have a word with you? Hey! Hey! Out! 
living beeples. Hey, you need to learn manners. You do have some guts, young man. I thought you were joking when you said you wanted to see me. On the contrary. When I'm in business, I'm in business. Well, just like my father, too many securities. The guilty are afraid. Unlike you, you seem a very confident young man. Oh, thank you. Power, they say, intoxicates. Exactly. And at the snap of my fingers, the life could be snuffed out of you. Oh, please, please. Let's leave me out of this, your little partial. I am way, way beyond it. Mm -hmm. And what might you be wanting this time, young man? Another sugar mummy? Me, perhaps? Oh, you're wrong again. Well, I have come to make a deal with you. Oh, interesting. Quite interesting. The boy wants to make a deal. <laughs> Could it be ice cream for popcorn? Oh. Oh, you underestimate me. I seldom love. But when I do, I love with my heart, my body, and my soul. I doubt if your soul, your little soul, is what a thing, because it's so full of sin. Oh, please. Please, let God be the judge of that. However, I am in love with your girlfriend and I have come to take full possession of her. I guess your mother never taught you ethics. That is, if you ever had one. You're right, you know. I never knew my mother, but if there's anything I know, she was nothing like you. And if you will just shut up and listen, this conversation will not take more than a minute. You watch your mouth, young man. Else I'll stab off our fingers, you go down and kiss our feet. Don't bother, Bozo. I don't need him kissing my feet. At least, not just yet. Yeah, that's better. However, I have come to take full control of this relationship. And in return, I'll offer you my father's full backup for your political ambition. And if I refuse? Then you do not get my father's ears. Bottom par or no bottom par. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> ah, interesting, very interesting. <laughs> ah, you impress me. Yeah, I think you do have something there. So, young man, why don't we meet somewhere discreet? to discuss your proposal, Father. I'll come along with a list of all the help I need from your Father. And since you say you can deliver, you can have her. 
Good. Excellent. You know something? You turned out better than I ever thought. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you very much. I'm impressed. When we get to your political bridge, surely we'll cross it. <laughs> Bye. Grace. I'm sorry, I never wished for this to have happened. Oh dear. Come on. The young man has impressed me a great lot. Really? Of course he has. <sighs> Gosh, and, and here I was thinking you're gonna kill me for this. Why? If there's anyone I should be killing, it's Betty and her gang. I mean, just look at me a while ago. I had a gun with no bullets. And then the young man walks in and he hands me all the bullets that I need. Come on, girl. I'm quite proud of you. You know, you, you, you don't see so amazing. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm proud of you, girl. Don't mind Grace. She's only trying to bite the fingers that fed her. That's the only thing she's trying to do. What is it, Harold? Let me see. To this. No, no, no. Don't worry, my dear. Just a little way of monitoring my enemies and clipping their wings. How did you get this? One of the hotel staff did the job. Oh. Good job. This is good. Harold. Yes, ma'am. You know what to get doing. Why not? Go ahead. Yeah. Hope is not a bad news. <laughs> well, it could be for some people. What you are asking me of is absolutely impossible. The primary election is three days from today. And you want me to turn my back on ardent and bona fide members of the party in the same contest just to adopt you? A late entrance just on a platter of gold. No, not on a platter of gold, Mr. Chairman. I am going to issue a check of 50 million naira right away, just for a start. <laughs> Wait, madam. I am only one member of the state party of executives. If you succeed in buying me over, what of other five members who are not here? Well, leave that to me, Mr. Chairman. I'll handle it. No, it's impossible. <laughs> I'm sorry, madam. I cannot do it. Okay. I'll make it 70 rare million naira. <laughs> what you don't know is that money is not the issue here. Sometimes, principle and ethics come above money and unbridled materialism. My words still remain. You're not wanted, dear. If you had contacted me before buying the firms, I would have simply told you you're not wanted. Hey, madam. Uh, hold on, Mr. Ch Sit down. How would you feel 
if after losing this morning, you still lose the rights as to who gets the ticket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what I know is that uh, the right of decision as to who goes is not and can never be at your disposal instruction. No, Mr. Chairman, you're wrong. Because come rain, come sunshine, I will get it. Impossible! You've just been informed. <laughs> Bragger. We shall see. <laughs> We shall see then. I am the tigress. <laughs> you see, you deceived me once, Shola, and I am never going to allow you to do that again. You see, uh, Dr. Will. Wait, I haven't finished. I can't compromise my choice of candidates for the senatorial and house of reps. You see, Dr. Williams, you seem not to understand my line of thinking. How? Because none of those you have chosen can, you know, match Dr. And Mrs. Grace Benson. Why? Because she has the well without, the connection, and the grassroots support to the top as far as this state is concerned. Oh, come on, Shola. Don't you think you are over-exaggerating that lady's influence? Not at all. You see, the only woman who can match her one on one is not that person but Dr. And Mrs. Betty Douglas. Because she has all the connections, all the support from the grassroots to the top. And as far as this state is concerned, she has everybody in her position and even to the headquarters. Mm, what makes you so sure? Well, if you want to know. She made the so-called uh, Mrs. Grace, or whatever you call her, who she is today. Shola, I am also a gubernatorial candidate, seeking election in the primaries. But you see, I can't help but wonder why you choose to come to me instead of going to the others. <laughs> you see, Dr. Williams, the wind is blowing towards your direction. Everyone can see it all over the state. Anyway, I am making a personal donation of 10 million towards your campaign and all other expenses. Oh, that's a wonderful act of generosity. But you see, I am sorry, but I can't do that. What? Yes, I can't. Dr. Williams, you mean you are turning down my offer? Yes, if that's what you choose to call it. I see. You are still stiff-necked. Anyway, don't forget, I live in Abuja. And that is where all arrangements, agreements, and contacts are made. Is this a threat or something? Look, you had better mind the affairs of your party. And for heaven's sake, stop interfering in mine. Good day. Did, uh, Dr. Williams give in response? The idiot. The scallywag chose to turn me down. Hmm? But you know one thing. He has just ended his aspiration for this dispensation because I am going to hit him hard. I will hit Dr. Williams real hard. I know what he can do. Why not try to talk to Chief Tekina again? Tekina? Forget Tekina. Tekina is a hungry man. Yes. The coins Grace gave to him are still working on him. But by the time this whole thing is over, he will realize what he has done to himself. As for Dr. William, 
He has dreamt his last about getting into the Lion Building. I know what he can do. My lady, these men are just two out of the many stakeholders and decision makers in the NNPP. Why not talk to the other failures? The party secretary and the woman leader are all on track for her. Then why, why not get hold on to them rather than sitting here and worrying yourself unnecessarily? I'm not worrying at all. I'm not worrying, Edna. Mm. I am only trying to figure out the best way to treat Grace fuck ups. Oh, please. Leave Grace out of this and grab your ticket first. Oh, the ticket? Yes. <laughs> Chill your temper, my baby. Chill your temper. Ah. Just watch out for those things I used to do so well. That ticket is mine. My tigress. There's no squabble about that. The only barrier right now is the dawn. Come tomorrow morning, come my game plans, and everything will be over. Well, if he says so, I know what he can do. Can I make use of your phone, please? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Adi. Get all your men to my residence immediately. My tigress. We just is taking too long. I've said this before. Let's go on with our deliberation. Well, let's oh, go on. Oh, here he is. I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman. No, I need to put some things in order. But uh, all is well. They're almost true. And uh, what is the stage of the preparation so far, Peters? Well, at present, they are busy with accreditation of the candidates. How far have they come with that? I believe um, they have concluded all the local governments in the south and the west territorial district, and the three out of six of the north. That's good. Promising results. Looks like they've gone very far. <sighs> yes, they are quite on track. <laughs> so now, Mr. Chairman, what's the result? Because voting or not voting, we still have to enclose a, a certain candidates for the test. I thought we have concluded on that. You said Dr. Olu for the West yeah. and um, Senator Ibri for yeah. the South. Sure. Um, Mr. Chairman, what about the North? Let all the candidates go to polls. Whoever wins the delegates' endorsement should go. Well, sir, I think you're getting it a little faulty here. I think we should pick a candidate, someone we know, someone who can be able to withstand our openness from the CDP. And uh, who do you think that should be? Um, Betty, Betty Douglas. Madam Arpen? No. Don't repeat that name, please. Betty Douglas is not there. I don't think we need somebody who is credible, somebody who will represent this party with all integrity. And Betty Douglas is certainly not that person. Of course. I think I agree with you. Yes. We should be very careful on these issues because we cannot afford to sacrifice the mirage of loyalists of this party for someone who just indicated her interest barely 10 days ago. Okay, so let us be very precise and considerate over these issues because Betty Douglas is simply out of it. I strongly suggest that on no account should anyone suggest giving the ticket to that woman again, please. But, um, Mr. Chairman, I think uh, what we should consider here is um, someone who could prefer a heretic opposition to our opponents in the CDP. And I say no. If Dr. Betty Douglas is the only one in your view, who you think she can do it, uh, then you'd better start placing your mind on the alternative. Because we had rather lost the seat. Chief! You heard me, madam, and I do not wish to be dragged further on this issue. 
Oh, excuse me, lady and gentleman. Hello. Yeah, Chief, take care of the night, nice please. Good day, what's going on about the primary? Oh, good day, sir. I, everything is online, please, sir. Uh, we are about to take off, sir. Oh, no, no problem, sir. Uh, everything will be done according to your wish, sir. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Bye bye, sir. <laughs> thank you. <clears throat> Lady and gentlemen, that was the National Party chairman, which is called. And uh, he has put to an end our precarious arguments on the not senatorial seat tickets. He said he has a candidate for the ticket. Well, I think we are set. <laughs> we are set to go. Um, what sort of delay is this? I'm increasingly getting nervous over all this, for God's sake. I still don't believe there's any cause for alarm. Even if the result is not announced today, I still believe I'm going to win anytime. Good evening, I'm Linda M. Menike. This evening on JHM TV News and Brief, the result of the NNPP governorship and National Assembly primary results in the state has been collected and therefore released. The result shows that the gubernatorial primary election in the state has been cancelled and Dr. Williams Pepo disqualified for further participation in the runoff elections to be conducted on a later date. However, in the House of the Representatives primary results, it shows that Dr. Akin Olabode, Peter Abeke Ekwenyong Nsong, Colonel Chris Jagger, retired, and Mrs. Olu Olagoke have all emerged flag bearers in their respective constituencies. Whereas for the senators, Dr. Kemi Ogunlewi, Emmanuel Dabury, and Dr. Betty Douglas Smithers have all emerged flag bearers in the South, West, and the North Senatorial Districts, respectively. <laughs> Yes. Oh, Chief Tekena on the line, please. The party chairman. Oh, Grace Benson, how are you? Look, 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 look. Okay. Listen to me. Take it now, technical or technical, whatever you call. Certain things happened, and I'm going to explain to you later. 120 million naira is not the kind of money that one can easily give out to a slob like you. Because of 120 million? So bloody what? So when I talk, when I talk, you keep quiet, you shut your mouth and let me finish, okay? No, I cannot be insulted because of 120 million. I was only trying to have punish. Look, if you cannot contain yourself, I'll be forced to switch on as well. You did it. Hang up the phone on me. No, 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 you dare not. You dare not. Why don't you try it? Try it. Try it. Foolish man. Nonsense. What's the matter with this woman for God's sake? What's wrong with her? Hello? Hello? What? Look at this bastard. This buffoon. He just to have to phone up on me. What? What are you doing? I'm just enjoying you. Uh... Enjoy, 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 enjoy whose misery. Enjoy whose misery, you this pot of bad luck. Idiot, foolish idiot. Oh, are you hallucinating again? Huh? Or oh, you've decided to crown your miserableness with madness? Now you listen to me. I will pretend that you didn't say one word. If you just turn around right now and crawl your way back to your room, okay? Now get moving! Pray for God. 
God's mercy. Shut your mouth! Come and shut your dead mouth and, and move! Move! Idiot! Just look at him! He's less than a man! Scumbag! An imbecile! Idiot! Enjoy his misery! Oh no, you just wait! You just wait! When I become a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, I'll finish you up permanently! Open this gate. Stop! And where do you think you're going to? Will you come off it? Don't make me dislike you, boy. If there's anybody to die here, I'm good sure it's a criminal like you. Get out of the way, I want to. I said, stop! Madam, I have done it before. Don't move. Shoot a gun at me? What's happening here? You, you dare shoot a gun at me, you punk. Oh. Don't worry. I'll deal with you. What are you doing here, Lady Betty? I came to see you and these punks you kept as cats who wouldn't let me in. But don't worry. Before I talk to you, I have to deal with him first. Hello. Oh, come on, stop this madness. What's all this rubbish? Betty, who do you think you are? Grace! Betty, what are you doing here? Can I have my phone in the twinkle of an eye, Grace? Oh, really? <laughs> Commander-in-chief. Oh, well. You can have your little toy. But I'll have you noted that you don't dial any more numbers on my premises, okay? Well, Grace, I came on a majestic visit. I am quite sure you heard the result of the last election. <laughs> so? Oh, please, Lady Betty, just leave my house, okay? Oh, yeah. I'll leave if you want me to. But not until I deliver my message. Okay, and so what is it? That I am a tigress. And people often mistake my gentility for cowardice. <laughs> Have you quite finished? Are you through with your ranting, Lady Betty? Almost. <laughs> I came to see you and these punks you kept as guards wouldn't let me. I thought I thought you well. Is this all you learned from me? You mean my security men? You call this security? Oh yes. Hold on then. Okay. Drop your weapons. I said drop them now. Oh, shut up. You are in Grace Benson's residence. You don't shout here. <laughs> Lady Betty, I am not impressed. But just give me a second. Oh, really? I can say you really learned from me. 
I thought you well. Yes, Lady Betty. I'm a very good student. Most times, I even surpass my teachers. Very well, then. In that case, we'll settle this on a level ground. I'll be waiting. Bloody tight dress. 